is 817. We can channel our inner, no? No. Let's get over to Courtney. How about we do that? Hey, Court. Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, I want to check in with uh, the uh, dermatologist over at UC Davis, uh, Oma, Dr. Oma Agbai. She's joining us this morning because we're talking about uh, hair relaxers and the connection to uterine cancer. Good morning, Dr. Agbai. Good morning, Courtney. How are you? Good to see you. Fantastic. Always good to see you. Okay, so we want to talk about this uh, study that came out from Boston University. This is a huge deal because there's so many, uh, especially African-American women, who have used relaxers for years or continuing right. to use the products, even for, for young girls. Um, now, the study in, in particular is speaking mostly about postmenopausal women. Is that right? Correct. So there have been several studies over the years that are looking at the association between the use of chemical relaxers and the incidence of uterine cancer. So this most recent study, it was of 45,000 black women out of Boston University, and they found that long-term use of chemical relaxers was associated with a 50% increased risk of uterine cancer among post-menopausal women. And these are women who use chemical relaxers, not rarely, not once in a while, but at least twice a year for more yeah. than five years. And if, you know, if, if you, know anyone uh, who uses relaxers, I will take myself as an example. Um, I use relaxers from the age of four until mm. at least 35. And it right. was probably every six to eight weeks, you know, when the new growth would grow out, I would use the relaxer to straighten the hair. And, and for those who don't know what relaxers are, we have pictures of what the products are. Uh, relaxers are what African-Americans uh, use to straighten the hair. We used to call them perms back in the day, but that would cause confusion. So uh, now they're called relaxers. But it's basically to remove or release or relax the texture, the natural texture of the curly, coily hair that African Americans have to make it straighter and smoother to be more Western standard of beauty. So because of right. the connection of how, um, you know, often we would use these products, this study is just jarring because people are now wondering, oh my goodness, am I at risk? Are my children at risk? What, right, what, so right. what do and we do from here? You know, this is not the first study to suggest that there are some possible risks with the use of chemical relaxers. Mm -hmm. And just to back up a little bit, they're known to contain certain chemicals such as phthalates, okay. parabens, and other endocrine disrupting chemicals. Yeah. Yeah. And these chemicals have been detected in urine samples of women who use chemical relaxers. And chemical relaxers have been associated with hormonal effects such as earlier puberty, infertility, and uterine fibroids. And the chemical exposure from chemical hair straighteners, it may be more problematic than other personal care products mm -hmm. due to the increased absorption through the scalp, yeah. which may be worsened by burns and small skin injuries caused by the chemical straighteners. And we talked about the study out of Boston University. There was another very large study from the NIH a couple of year or two ago that looked at 34,000 women in the United States and found that women who use chemical straighteners over four times within the past 12 months were over twice as likely to develop uterine cancer by age 70 compared to those who never used chemical relaxers. So wow. So that's the graphic that we're showing. So that was an over a 2.5 fold increase of risk yeah. of developing uterine cancer. Um, Dr. So Abai, in response, I'm, yes. I'm sorry, I know that we're, we're running out of time and unfortunately we're gonna have to wrap this up, but I do wanna ask you uh, just a really quick question. Is there such a thing as a safe relaxer, safe hair relaxer? You know, we really don't know yet. This is all very concerning yeah. and people should be paying attention to the safety of their hair styling products, yeah. especially if they're receiving chemical relaxers. And just looking at the racial aspect, African-American women are already more likely to die from uterine cancer, mm -hmm. even without the use of chemical relaxers. Yeah. And since African-American women make up 
the majority of people using chemical relaxers for hair straightening, there are implications for racial disparities and uterine cancer incidence and mortality. So it's critical to monitor this potential risk closely. All right, huge topic. We want to make sure that we link all the details to our website, gooddaysacramento.com, under show info and today's date. If you have any questions, you can reach out to Dr. Abai, also the dermatology department at UC Davis or the hospital that you are a member of. Dr. Abai, thank you so much for your time this morning. We've got more Good Day coming up thank on the you. other side of this break. Thank you.